What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Rain, rain, go away. May 23rd, 2024. It is 68 degrees here in Woodmere, New York, and we are on our next service call. The customer's heat will not turn off. Let's go see what's going on. Well, hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. So. The heat's not turning off? No, you guys are the ones. So you have a boiler, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the, let's go see the boiler. Yeah. And, and it was dripping, that's, and then it's not supposed to be dripping. And so, um, Daniel said it was, I wrote it down. That is your, um, where's your expansion tank? Your expansion tank is full. So if uh, you have a plumber that does, yeah. No, that that's not going to affect pressure, though. Your 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 pressure relief valve on your boiler is leaking because there's too much pressure in the system. So again, I don't want to. I know you have a plumber, so I don't want to step on anyone's toes, even though I'm a plumber as well. But when you have a discharge on this relief valve, which is what you have here, this expansion tank, right? Its job is to automatically absorb that pressure as water is heated, and not cause high pressure. Because if I look on your pressure gauge, you have, uh, it could be wrong, it says it's 15 PSI, but I know this opens at 30. This, this is charged for 12, and a normal operating pressure for a system is 12 to 15. Mm -hmm. So when you have this leaking, we typically replace that, this, and then we talk about the pressure reducing valve there. However, back to why I'm here for right now, you have this zone, which is labeled DN or N reverse D, and up, up is cold, downstairs is on, according to what's labeled here. So your downstairs zone is heating. And it's evident by this very hot pipe. So now let's go to the, let's go to the air handler in that closet and see if it's hot. Because you have air, come, hot air comes out of the vents, right? Yes. Okay. So here is that air, air handler. And now this coil here with these two pipes are blazing hot. So. Somehow, some way, that coil is heating up, is getting heat. So your air conditioning's running and the heat is running at the same time and the house is probably not cooling off, right? We need to find out why that's running. So process of elimination, we're gonna go to the thermostat and take it off the wall and see if the problem stops. No, but this thermostat does the heating and it does the air conditioning for this floor, right? Okay. So, here's our cool little thermostat right there. So right now it's set for cool, all right? Let's just see what happens if we set it to off. Let's go see what happens. Back to the boiler. Okay, we have this green box, all right? This green box is our our Taco zone switching relay, yep. and we have some lights on it. So if we scroll down here a little bit, we're gonna see that the power light is on on this SR504 switching relay. So zone one is not illuminated, zone two is illuminated, right? So this switching relay, which I just banged on, is sending power to a circulator to heat a zone. We've turned off the thermostat on the first floor, right? So even if, let's say, it was malfunctioning and it was closing the circuit between R and W, at the same time also R and, and Y is also on, right? Y is cooling circuit. So even if the thermostat was malfunctioning, I guess we could technically remove R from the terminal on the thermostat to actually physically remove it from the equation, but the switch is off, we heard a click, the relay, internal relay clo or opened, right? So let's take this panel off right here, right? Just like this. And let's get some light on here. Ah, the power of iPhone. All right, now we have Zone two, I need a Phillips screwdriver. 
I always say a good technician is observant of his surroundings, right? I'm going to show you what I'm looking at right now. So I'm not only looking at this Takeo switching relay, I'm looking at that dripping, a non-existent drip leg, just about dripping onto my pant leg. I was wondering why I felt water there, but it wasn't hot water, believe it or not. Right? I'm looking at that plug right there next to that natural gas water heater. All right, now it used to go to an indirect water heater. Well, McLean, actually. We have an automatic air vent right here, pressure reducing valve, low water cutoff. One, two, three, four, Takeo circulators. Try to cater gauge. Interesting what was here and there. Maybe a domestic coil. Could have been a steam boiler. Ah, that could have been, this was a steam boiler. That was the upper glass. I need a Phillips screwdriver. My leg is falling asleep here. At least see this okay, that'll work. Something's better than nothing. All right, and let's get in there. Okay, so by basically removing one wire, the zone stopped. So now we have to figure out where our short is. All right, back to the thermostat. We need a tiny flat screwdriver. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's take a look at this thermostat. This white wire, right, is our heat. It was on W. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's just take everything out. This one right here was on probably RC. It has a jumper on there. Let's move that out of the way. I'm going to take Y out. I'm going to take G out. Okay, and let's just loosen up this one right there. Let's put this right there for right now. So now, the thermostat, oh, we have two wires there. This is something there. And this is something there. All right, so there is R, H, and W, right? And this is our R, G, and Y. So we have what you, what you would call a two transformer system, mm -hmm. right? Yep. But we had jumper, jumper between R, C, and RH. So each terminal was sharing RC and RH were basically one. Correct. Yeah. So if, hmm, let's see. So Mike told me <clears throat> to come down here after we disconnected from the thermostat. Our zone two, that second red light was on before when it was connected. Now it is not. All right, we are going to clean this up a little bit. Not that it was a mess to begin with, but I like to have everything neat and orderly. This is R, this is W, R, H, and W. And if I go like this, you had that clicking action. Zone two was that red light was going on and off, right? Yep. There you go. So this is our heating circuit. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove that little jumper wire that was there. And we're going to take our red wire and put it to our W terminal, which is right there. And we're gonna secure that. Right, like that, and give it a little tug. Now we know it's not going anywhere. Now this other one, if we take a quick closer look, we have RC, see that? Yep. You have B and RH. Mm -hmm. Where's this red wire gonna go? RC. Try again, wrong answer. This is the heating circuit. So that red wire, where's it going? I'm gonna go to RH for? Power heat, yes. Okay. So that red wire, which goes to our boiler, is gonna go on RH. We're gonna make that nice and snug. Mm -hmm. Give it a little tug. She's not going anywhere. And now I'll just try to push that out of the way a little bit. All right, just like that. See, all nice out of the way. 
We, that leaves us with three more wires, right? We have a red wire, a green, and a yellow, okay? Where is the red wire gonna go? Would that be RC? Is that your final answer? Yes, sir. Good, okay. Let's take that R wire and connect that to RC. Give it a little tug, she's not going anywhere. And then we have a yellow wire. That's gonna go on Y. Same thing, always give it a little tug. Mm -hmm. Nothing crazy, but you wanna make sure that your terminal is tight on the wire. This one doesn't really wanna go in there. Let's loosen up the green, put that into there. And we will give that a little tug. Okay. I did not reinstall the jumper. Correct. Honestly, that really should make a difference here, right? Um, there's not a transformer on R, H, and W. They are basically going to dry contacts or... Um, not dry contacts, but they're going to a, a switch, essentially. And when the relay inside here, right, for heat is calling, mm -hmm. it closes the circuit between RH and W, right? When the thermostat is satisfied, it opens the circuit between RH and W. Basically, the, these these terminals and this thermostat is all it is is an automatic switch okay and it doesn't need it needs some power to energize the circuitry right yep. and close those relays and open those relays but other than that when it doesn't need power it needs batteries look 1.5 volts right nothing right, right? You, you could put this up your ass and nothing's gonna happen right 9 volt battery you'll feel that a little bit right 24 volts you'll feel that too mm -hmm. did peter tell you that we made him uh for hundred dollars, we took R and C and put his put it to his tongue. Really? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we did that. Yeah, uh, Daniel's you, um, TikTok posts got removed for that. Yeah, it was like <laughs> inciting injury to others, you know, something like that. Whatever, That's whatever. Stupid. So, right now, if you go to the thermostat, I'm sorry, the thermostat. You go to the boiler. That red light should not be on. Let's go see if it's on. So now. After fixing our connections, zone two light is not on. And the only difference was, is that this jumper that went between RC and RH is now removed. Now, the red, yellow, and green wire, that is your air conditioning, correct? Correct. If these two wires were gone, you can easily identify this as air conditioning by seeing three wires, right? Yep. They can even be different colors, but if you had just two wires, mm -hmm. right, that would only be heating. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now, this jumper was between RC and RH. RC has voltage, 24 volts, right? Because mm -hmm. that's the R terminal at your equipment, okay? This RH technically doesn't have power, but it may. On newer take -o switching relays, like the one we have in the shop on our training board, it has an R, a W, and a C terminal on each individual zone to allow for people to use these Wi-Fi thermostats. It identifies R, identifies W, does it identify C. Mm -hmm. So could there be power at RH right now? There may or may not be, but if I go like this to two of them together, it's what do you think is going to happen? Power, always. Well, there's power here, power there. What do you think is going to happen? Nothing good, probably, right? Yeah. But it was fine for all this time. I am going to touch these two together, right? And you're going to go downstairs. I'll give you 10 seconds mm -hmm. to get down there. And I'm going to touch these two together, and you're going to see if that zone turns on. Okay. Okay? If it turns on, our problem was this. Okay. If it doesn't turn on, we're back where we started from. We just turned it off now. And maybe something else is funky going on here. Ready? Yep, go. Yep. So what I was doing 
was basically touching those two together, okay? Jumping RC and RH. Mm -hmm. Now it's off, right? Correct. Jumper's gone. And there's a switch here. See there's a little switch right there and it says ELEC and it says gas, mm -hmm. okay? We're gonna let that be for right now. Let's let this switch to system from off to heat. Set for 71, flame icon, 73 degrees indoor ambient temperature. Watch what happens when I go to 74. Click, mm -hmm. that's that heating relay closing. Now go to the boiler and see if that zone two light is on. And you'll tell me yes, if it is, and then I'm gonna turn this off. So we have heating on. Zone two is on. And he turned it off. So it was that little jumper that was causing the issue. And off camera, I explained to the homeowner what transpired. I showed her the little jumper and I said, listen, uh, it's my thermostat. I'm going to own this. I don't know how long it's been going on for, but I recall installing that thermostat about three or four years ago, and I know the jumper wasn't in there. I know that for a fact. Because on the second floor thermostat, we're using the White Rogers Emerson Series 80, and the jumper that's built onto the faceplate, the rear of the faceplate, is actually cut, because I remember cutting that, because I use my noggin. Uh, I specifically remember removing the jumper, and it's kind of odd that the heat would be running when... For three years, it makes no sense. So I, I told her, since my thermostat, I'll own up to it. I'm sorry that you went through this. And of course, no charge. Good learning experience for uh, the ride along for the day. And um, off to the next. Smash that thumbs up button. Guys, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below.